y'all, let's get into this. I am, I've been curious about this one for a minute. And I don't think house, okay, hold on. See, this is, this is what I probably, because I left it in the packaging, so I would not try it without my loves. But guess what? She got scissors, because this is being real difficult. We ain't going through all that. All right, good God, this thing is packaged. There we go, let us have it. Uh oh, see? They can't have the nerve with some Harry Potter. I was like, you know what, me and JK go way back anyway. But let me do it. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's a lot. <laughs> I didn't realize I ordered this many. We're not gonna go through this whole thing because oh, look at that. Look at that, y'all. That is dangerously smelly. <laughs> We're gonna pick some key, some key um scents here. So, ooh, benevolence. That sounds, mm, sounds a little real, risque. Y'all, I don't think this is the Harry Potter. Let's see. It's not. This is not the Harry Potter one, y'all. Okay, let's find the Harry Potter one first. That's really what we came for. That's who we came to see, Otis. <laughs> you get it, you get it. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want to do the Harry Potter one for sure. And then we'll pick one or two from that pack to try. Here we go. Oh, jeez. You did this. I did it too much. Yep. There. Yay. <laughs> and it has all the houses. This is what we came to see. So let's get into it. This reminds me of opening up, open up a pack of cigarettes when I was little for my mom. <laughs> she like, open those for me real quick. But then would pop us if we if we try to touch them. So if she was doing like doing our hair or something like that, she'd be like, "Open my cigarettes." That's exactly what that just felt like. The packaging is cute, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Let's open it. I'm so excited. I love it. I want to see how they translated the houses into a scent. That's what we're looking for. All right. So there we are with our testers for our scents. I'm going to start with Hufflepuff because that's me. Ew. <laughs> I am team Hufflepuff, y'all. FYI, if anyone has any, was ever curious, that is my house. That is my uh, personality traits, all that good stuff. So let's try it. Hufflepeasy, which one are you? House of, darn it. Don't really tell you which one is Hufflepuff. I feel like I'm gonna guess. I feel like I think I feel like I'm gonna guess and probably get it right. Let's see. Oh, uh, I picked Slytherin first. Boo! <laughs> this is probably Gryffindor, but let's see. By the color, it's giving Gryffindor. It's like this stuff is packaged. It's really in there. And I don't want to break my good nail. These, these are actually my nails. And let's get some tools. You know, because we're modern women now. We got tools. I'm just gonna pop them all up to the surface. Jeez. There we go. Pop them to the surface. Oh my God. I'm trying it at home. That was a little risque. All right. This is Hufflepuff. All right. I'm gonna spray it on the tester. Hufflepuff going in. That's a nice spray. You don't even have to do it but once. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Okay. What I will say is Hufflepuffs are known to be sweet and cheerful and warm and good people, you know? Um, friends you can depend on. And this is what this is giving. It is. So I can see. Like, like by, by smelling it, I can translate it to what Hufflepuff is written to be all about. It's vanilla. It's amber. It's warm. <clears throat> I, it, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Um, it's basic. It's, it's, it's uncomplicated. It is... Um, Clearly vanilla essence, but um, gourmandy, which is you know sweet, candyish, edible, you know. 
it's vanilla. That's the, it's a deep vanilla. That's what it is. So I'm gonna wrap it up because we don't want to spend too much time on something that's that basic um, to me. I felt like they could have did a little bit better with Hufflepuff because you could have layered this. You could have added some complicated because Hufflepuffs run deep, you know? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But it's nice. Okay, we're gonna let that go. We're gonna move on to the next house. <laughs> Coffee. Cause we need her we need her all right y'all let's see moving on to i'm just gonna pick it's probably raven ravenclaw but let's see ravenclaw <laughs> i knew it has a slight purple to the to the juice and a slight purple so i just guessed so let's see ravenclaw now ravenclaws they're known to be witty and extremely intelligent and smart fierce when they believe in something, you know? Let's see. It smells like books. <laughs> it smells like papyrus. It's clean. It's extremely light. It's so light you have to literally, you know. And what this might do, excuse me, what this might do is once it hits your skin, it might transform into something else. It's definitely possible because it's super light. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's giving car freshener. Uh, linen. Yeah, like, like clean laundry. Okay. Glad I didn't order these for real. I'd be pissed off right now. <laughs> All right, moving on to Gryffindor. <laughs> Courageous, brave. Sometimes foolish in those two um, attributes, but here we go. Oh, oh, all right, let's see. Now, why'd they make the Gryffindor a slightly complicated? <laughs> that's, that's just, you know, a whole, that, that, you know, Harry Potter's house always gets the special treatment. And what I'm gonna do before I really pop off I'm gonna clean the uh, nose waves. Nose, uh, I'm gonna clean the nose waves. Try it again. It's masculine, which is unfair because we have multiple female Gryffindors who kick butt, <laughs> but it's masculine. Yeah, it's giving me aftershave meets woods meets Spice. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. I think that this is unisex though. This is something that, that definitely can be worn by a man or a woman after it, as, you know, as it cools. Some of the scents are coming out. It's a complicated scent. The others have not been complicated. <laughs> I'm scared to do slithering, y'all. <laughs> Might not be great. Yeah. I want to try this on Mr. Will and see how it smells. Because I feel like on a man, this is this is going to pop. On me, I just don't feel like it's my speed. But, okay. Let's move it along to Slytherin. Let's get it over with, y'all. <laughs> Let's do it. To Slytherin. Yeah, Slytherin. Uh, going in. And to give it... It's fair, you know, it's, it's fair justice. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Somebody was real petty in making this. This smells kind of... It's nice. It's nice. Um, but it's, it's green. It smells, I'm, yeah, you know, it's invoking green for me. Deodorant, <laughs> kind of like a, kind of like an antiperspirant <laughs> scent. So green, clean, uh, underlying alcohol. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, mm-mm. 
and it's getting like <clears throat> in the back of my throat. Okay. Okay. One more time for the cheap seats. I'm trying to do it justice here. Yeah, I don't like that. <clears throat> and I might try that again later once I've, you know, settled a bit. But I didn't, I didn't like Slytherin. It's earthy, but it also has like a, a alcohol, a chemically, a chemical type of vibe to it. And I wonder if I almost sprayed this right in my face, y'all. I would have been so upset. <laughs> I really would have. I was like, what were you thinking? Um, I wanted to give you the notes. They do not. But on Slytherin, the ingredients, it, the first thing is alcohol. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, my nose didn't lie. All right, y'all, what I want to do before I wrap this up, um, since I have this big old House of Siage uh, collection travel spray gig going, I figured we could try at least two of these. What you think? I think two. Benevolence is calling to me just by the name. Am I saying this right? <laughs> Benevolence, yes. This is Benevolence, and we're not going to do any more because, <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll do Tiara. She's calling me. This blush color juice is calling me. So let's try those two. First things first, Benevolence. <laughs> let's see what she does, y'all. Yeah, because I want a good coating here. Let's see. No shade, but shade. <laughs> oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, it's spreading. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to let it air. I'm going to let it air because I feel like I'm not giving it. It's something in there that I don't like immediately upon spray, and then it spreads. It spreads. I'm glad I never bought a full bottle of this because I'd be highly pissed off. All right, I, you know what? I think I'm out of testing strips, y'all. So, uh, for the sake of not having to get up and get some more, let's just go ahead and use a tissue for the very last one. Tiara. Tiara. Let's see. Jeez. I'm going to spray one time. This might open up into something, but upon first spray, it's a no for me. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna have to test drive these on my skin. I really do. This is actually opening up nicely. You know what, y'all? I'm gonna try Tiara on my skin. Let's see. spray over your arm. Child, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Um... I have to say I'm not completely impressed with House of Siage. And I've seen so many reviewers be so adamant about how great their products are. And so blown away. And I'm, I'm, I'm not blown away. And maybe I'm oversensitized right now. That's definitely possible. But, <clears throat> no. That's the last of that. I don't want to give myself a headache, y'all. Okay, so Tiara opens up to almost a vanilla floral um, with something deep in the background. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I'm getting some stuff. So 
Um, at that at that point, <laughs> I think we are done. We had us, we had us a good old sniff off today. <laughs> I'm here for it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, we might make the we we may make this a thing because we can. Um, I I'm so deeply in the sense. I always have a new one. Uh, we can go over some that I wear every day, which I know and love. MFK. We can do a whole video on him. That's being blown away for me. Just beautifully done since. Um, so yeah, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping me company and going through the goods and seeing what we like. Y'all, I'll be back, of course, but of course. Um, what another fashion haul. We got some stuff to talk about. Um, I have a swimsuit, summer swimsuit fashion haul that I'm planning on doing. And I also have um, another, hold on, what is it? I have a styling video. Basically, um, we're going to prove to the other plus size girls out there that we can shop uh, and wardrobe from Target and style it. And it's all good. Because I was one, I did not believe the, I did not believe the hype. And yeah, I went through four different targets, but I got like four outfits and we're going to style them and hook it up and see what we think. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, stick around. Uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Okay. Peace.